Today's lesson is chapter three, lesson nine on pages 209 through 214. Our objective is I can understand where to place the first digit in the quotient when dividing. Vocabulary is unknown. Question one, what do I do if my divisor cannot go into the first digit in my dividend? Question two, when dividing 375 by five, where is the first digit in the quotient going to go? Okay, let's watch this video to walk us through these steps. Here we're going to look at placing the first digit in division problems. We'll be placing that digit in our quotient or answer. When we have this problem here, this is 378 divided by 2. We place our digit here because we can divide 300s by 2. It goes in one time. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. And we bring down the 7. 17 divided by 2 is 8 because 8 times 2 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1. And there's still another digit to bring down the 8. 18 divided by 2 is 9 because 9 times 2 is 18. And 18 minus 18 is 0. So there is no remainder. 189 is our quotient or our answer. For our check, we take our answer, 189, and multiply it by the divisor, which is 2. 2 times 9, which is 18. 8, regroup the 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So our answer checks. All right, this is what I mean when placing that first digit in the quotient. We look at the six and the six hundredths. Eight cannot go into that six hundredths. Six divided by eight would be zero. So we're going to go to that next place. And so we can look at the seven there and put it together with the six. So we're looking at 67. We're looking at 67 divided by eight. 67 divided by 8 is going to be 8. We'll notice that we place the 8 in that tens place because we were looking at 67 tenths. 8 times 8 is 64. 67 minus 64 is 3. And we can bring down the 8. 38 divided by 8 is 4 because 4 times 8 is 32. And 38 minus 32 is 6. So our remainder is 6. Our check is just as before, where we take 84, we multiply it by 8, and we add in the remainder. So again, this is 572 divided by 7. 7 cannot go into 5. 7 can go into 57. 7 goes into 57 8 whole times because 8 times 7 is 56. 57 minus 56 is 1. We bring down the 2 and then we divide again. 12 divided by 7 which is 1. 1 times 7 which is 7 and 12 minus 7 which is 5. So our remainder is 5. Again, our check, add back in the remainder, and that's what we did here. We placed that first digit, 57 divided by 7 was that 8, and again, we placed the 8 right there. Okay, so let's take a look at it in our textbook. I'm on page 209. So basically what this whole lesson is about is when you have a three-digit dividend and you don't have enough hundreds to divide your quotient by. So you have to jump to that next place value. So like with this number, 135 is our dividend and our quotient is that three. And so we're, or the divisor is the three, sorry. So the three cannot go into one. So we have to jump to the next place value. Three can go into 13 though. So when we're dividing the hundreds place, it says there are not enough hundreds to divide into three groups. Because three cannot be divided into one. So we have to regroup that one hundred 
at, and 310, so we're just looking at it as 13 right now. So now we jump to the next place, that tens place, 13 divided by 3. Well, that can work, so 3 goes into 13 four times, and it is, if we multiply, so remember these steps from our last lesson, 3 times 4, we get 12. So now we subtract, 13 minus 12 is 1. So now we move on just as we would, and we bring down, because 3 can't go into 1, so that was our check step, our compare, and then we're bringing down that 5. So 3 goes into 15, 5 times, that was a bad 5, but you get the point. 3 times 5 is 15, and we have 0 when we subtract that. So our answer here is 45. And remember, you can check, you can compare it to an estimate, or, so in the beginning they estimated, they rounded this to 150 divided by 3. Another way to check would be to multiply 45 by 3 and make sure you get 135. Okay, let's look at this next page, page 210, where it has a four-digit dividend. So 6,784. So their first step, they estimated it to 7,000 divided by 7. If you remember that tens trick, that would just be about 7 divided by 7 is 1, and we'd put those three zeros to so be about 1,000. So 6,784 divided by 7. Well, 7 can't go into 6, so we have to skip that or that thousands place in this case. Now we move to the hundreds. So we're looking at 67, if I can get my pen to work. Okay, here we go, sorry. 67 divided by 7. So 67 divided by 7 gives us 9. So I'm just going to go through this quick because you should know these steps by now. 9 times 7, 63. Subtract, we have 4 left over, bring it down, and do this problem just like you would any other. So it's just that first step of remembering when it can't go into the first number, we look at the next numbers together. So 67 instead of 6. And this one did have a remainder. So when you're checking that, make sure you're multiplying 969 times 7 and then adding in that one of that remainder. So don't forget about that. Page 213, homework helper, walks you through those steps again if you need an extra help. Okay, so look back at your questions. Question one, what do I do if my divisor cannot go in the first digit of my dividend? So that was basically all the problems we talked about. And question two gives you an example. So if you're dividing 375 by 5, where is the first digit that your quotient will go into? So check back in the video if you need help with those.